Okay, first of all, let's take a moment to, to center ourselves. A moment to breathe in the middle of this busy season. So breathe with me, breathe in and breathe out. Make it a prayer. Breathe in and as you breathe in, invite in the spirit of God, God's love and joy, God's grace. And breathe out and as you breathe out, let go of everything else, your fear, your, your anger, your anxiety and insecurity, all the distractions. Breathe in and breathe out. And the scripture for today is Psalm 146. Listen with me for the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God all my life long. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortals, in whom there is no help. When their breath departs, they return to the earth. On that very day, their plans perish. Happy are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He upholds the orphan and the widow but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. So it's good every once in a while to kind of go back to basics, kind of like you do in, in sports or in math. You're practicing the fundamentals all the time. Same, same with this. Good to remember who God is. The kind of God that, that we worship and, and serve, the kind of God that we are preparing for this Advent. And this psalm, in many ways, kind of sums, sums it all up. Praise the Lord is how the psalm both begins and ends. It's, it's one word in Hebrew. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We might say it as, Praise the Lord. Most uh, Bibles have it translated as the Lord. Some of them with, with a big capital L and then a smaller capital O-R-D. The word there is Yah, uh, a short version of, of God's name, a name that the, the Hebrews wouldn't say, a name that, that we really don't even know how to pronounce. We don't know what the vowels are. yod hey lav Hey, the sound kind of, of breathing, the one who, who gives us breath. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Sing or, or shout, or literally it's shine with the Lord, boast, brag about the Lord. Sing, praise, praise the Lord. It's written as, as a command, as an imperative. Praise the Lord, oh, oh my soul. Hey, hey self, praise the Lord. My, my soul, my, my spirit, my, my life, whatever it is that makes me, me, and, and you, you, deep, deep inside us, telling that to, to praise the Lord. Maybe it's a Monday morning and it's gray and, and rainy and you're tired and the bed just feels so comfortable. Or maybe... You're caught up in this Advent Christmas season and it's, you feel stressed out and dry. Or maybe you're anxious, grieving, alone, angry, doubting. Come on, self. Praise the Lord. Get, get out of your funk or maybe in that funk. Focus. Praise the Lord. Sing, shout, shine. Praise the Lord. Here, praising the Lord is contrasted with trusting in, in princes, in looking to other people, leaders, whatever, for, for help and, and approval, for, for success, for, for meaning and in purpose. They, they can't give it. 
I think of how the Gospel of Luke tells the story of Jesus' birth. It starts with with names, a who's who of, of all the most important people in the world. The headline news of the day, Caesar Augustus, Governor Quirinius, and Caesar is, is conducting a, a census of all the people in his kingdom, kind of trying to get a sense of, of the size of his rule. And meanwhile, there's a refugee couple who can't find any place. And that's where, that's where God shows up. That's where Jesus chooses to be born. Don't put your trust in princes. Don't pay attention to the celebrities. Don't get distracted by what the leaders or, or really any other person is doing. Turn off the news for a bit. It's, it's really easy to get stuck in that rut of seeking others' approval. Find your meaning and purpose and approval in, in God. Praise the Lord, my, my soul. Praise God, the, the God of Jacob. It might be easy to kind of skim past that part. Jacob is one of the, the big characters in, in Genesis. His name is mentioned all throughout Scripture, really. And it's, it's really easy to kind of forget exactly the person behind that name, Jacob. A, a con man, basically, a cheat. He uh, came out of the womb fighting with his brother, trying to one-up him and, and, and every, everyone else. Gets him kicked out of the house all alone at, at, at a young age, scheming and, and swindling his, his uncle to get by. He, he wrestles with, with God, which, which becomes his name, Israel, which is Hebrew for wrestles with God. The God of, of that guy. The God who helps Jacob. And Jacob comes to see that there's, no matter where he is, no matter what he does, there, there's like a ladder, a staircase connecting heaven and earth. God is with him wherever he goes. That's the God that we worship and serve. That's the God that we are moved to praise. The God who not only is God of Jacob, but God who made everything, the sea, the stars, everything in them, the seasons, always faithful, for forever loyal, in us, around us, behind us, before us, like, like the breath in our lungs. Enough space, enough patience for, for people like Jacob, people who wear their faults and their failures and, and everything else right there out on their sleeves. Can't hide them. And, and not just people like Jacob, God brings justice to the oppressed, the psalm goes on. Food for those who are hungry, freedom for the, for the prisoners, sight to those who can't see, lifts up those who are, are broken and, and bent over, looks out for the stranger, for the foreigner, for those who don't fit in, takes care of, upholds the, the widow and the orphan, the, the poorest of the poor. This, this is God. Again, in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus gives something very similar to this as his thesis statement, his, his calling card, his, his slogan, anointed to bring good news to the poor, release for the captives, sight for those who are blind, to set free those who are oppressed. There's, there's another difference between God and all those other leaders and, and, and everyone else. They might take care of of the orphan and the, the widow, the poorest of the poor, when it suits them, when they think about it, when it's good for their image or good for their bottom line or, or, or just when it occurs to them. But God, God always looks for, cares for, loves the oppressed, the hungry, the prisoner, the blind, those who are bent over and broken, the strangers, the outcasts, the orphans, the widows. And when, when Jesus is born in the world, it's, it's born as one of these people. The people that we don't normally look at or see, the least, the, the invisible. And we didn't make space. We weren't looking, paying any attention. So caught up in, in everything else. Or maybe we're caught up in the exceptions. 
the fact that there are still systems of oppression and injustice. There are hungry people. There are broken people. There are people who, who don't or can't see. There are orphans and, and widows who, who die every day. If God is really always faithful, if God is always looking out for them, then why? Why, why all of this? And maybe God is asking us the same question. If you really believe me to be faithful, to look out for, for these, to bring justice, why aren't you bringing justice, food, healing, looking out for, for the least of my people? Maybe, maybe Christ is waiting to be born in each of us for us to birth God into the world like Mary did. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shine with, with God, my, my soul, my, my spirit, my, my being. Praise the Lord. Don't put your trust in anyone or, or, or any, anything else. Our help is in the God of Jacob. Our hope is in the God who made everything, who brings justice to the oppressed, food for those who are hungry, sight for those who are blind, releases the prisoner, raises up those who are broken and, and bent over, looks out for the stranger, for the, the orphan and the, the widow, always, always faithful. Praise the Lord. It's good to go back to basics every once in a while, especially maybe as we prepare for Christmas. Praise the Lord. Would you pray with me? Lord, help us to praise you in our deepest being, to become the people that you want us to be. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness. May he protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he's shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again to our door. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.